everybody, welcome to the Carrier Dome. It's Wake Forest and Syracuse Week 11 matchup highlights. Demon Deacons come into this at 3 and 5, and they would have not an easy task, not a hard task, but a dead even task. Syracuse and Wake Forest matched, uh, matched horns basically in every category offense, defense, and special teams. So let's see how this would play out. This one, well, Wake Forest starts three and out to begin the game. And now it's a handoff to Ashton Boyle. And Boyle will go the distance. He will get 21 here. And he picks up a Syracuse first down. Now third and seven. Harris has all the time in the world to get to the QB. But it's going to be a catch by Paris. Josh Paris from Terrell Hunt. And from there, Syracuse would not disappoint. Huge third down conversion. Terrell Hunt, read option QB, does the rest. Untouched as he almost tiptoes into the end zone right here until the very end and then breaks one tackle and that's all you had to do against this defense. Wake Forest defense comes in over 100th in the country and there's only 126 teams, so not very good. First studio update, Purdue and Iowa. Purdue would go up to lose this game. Unfortunately for them, Iowa picks up the victory in the end. Now second and three, Syracuse ball back after another Wake Forest. Three and out. This one is to Thunderbunk, and Thunderbunk will pick up a first down, 20 yards there. Terrell Hunt, three-step drop. Finds Cornelius. Cornelius is in, and Alvin Cornelius has scored the first touchdown for Terrell Hunt through the air, the tight end that does not look like a tight end and it's 14-0 Syracuse. Now, Wake Forest let's see what they can do. DeAndre Martin a little juke inside. He picks up 8, 2nd and 2. Now 3rd and 16. They need this one. Cameron, 4th step drop after getting benched last week in the second half. Find Sherman Raglan and Raglan will somehow pick up 18 they needed 16, but he picks up 18, and it's a new set of downs. However, quickly, third down again, third and 21 after two straight sacks on Tyler Cameron. It's going to be four verticals for Wake Forest. Cameron, three-step drop, and instead of being caught, well, it is caught just by the defense. It's Hodge for the orange, and it's an interception. Syracuse, no huddle offense, no time wasted. Hunt read option. Hunt cuts back in. Picks up a first down, making mincemeat of this defense for Wake Forest. And from first and goal to second and goal, Terrell Hunt would do it again. Through the air this time, finds his man, Batten, and Aaron Batten. Batten's down the hatches. He gets in, tight end again, 21-0 Syracuse. However, Wake Forest would respond. Anthony Rook bulldozing over the orange. That's got to hurt. And it picks up a goal to go situation for the Demon Deacons. Anthony Rook, well, this was one of the few highlights we have. Third and goal, here's another one. DeAndre Martin, it's gonna be a toss to the right. Martin cuts in, touchdown on touch, Demon Deacons. And they score their first points of the game. Second quarter, 420 play. So over 15 minutes of no score for the Demon Deacons, they finally get something going. They make it a 14 point game. They would strip the ball from the Orange, however they would go on to punt. So now second and nine, Orange with the ball at Wake Forest territory. This is Josh Paris again, picking up a first down. And now it's another goal to go, and just like Wake Forest, Syracuse, third and goal. Again, through the air, somehow finds his men, Quinta. Thunderbark, Thunderbirth, excuse me, for a touchdown, it would get reviewed, and it would stand, so 28-7, Wake Forest 3 and out again, not many highlights, now second half, it's going to be another catch, this time by Alvin Cornelius, one of the guys who got the touchdown, this one would get reviewed as well, so let's go ahead and take a replay, did he toe drag that one foot that he needed in college, you see the ball, and yes, he did. He actually got two feet down by the tip of his cleats. Even though it's college, you only need one. He did get both. So that is going to be rolled a catch. So first and ten will stand. And now third and six. They quickly drive down the field. 
and it is Ashton Boyle not getting anything to Wake Forest defense holds to a field goal potentially could miss we never know but in the carrier dome no win probably no problem for any kicker unless it's a good 40 45 yards out so the hold and the kick from Syracuse is good 31 7 and from there Wake Forest well they would have their hands full again another third down you see Syracuse stacking the line five six guys are coming on a rush and Cameron would feel it but somehow keeps it off to his receiver this one would get reviewed and that is a great play there by Allen gets his one foot in right there his toe in not the back heel not to be ruled a catch unfortunately after that they would punt again that's about the fifth or sixth punt in this video and on third and six here it is here comes the punting situation third and six that man that just sacked him is a school record setter John Raymond fifth sack of the day and that would go on to lead the Syracuse to a 31 28 victory Wake Forest made it close in the end unfortunately it wasn't meant to be so Wake Forest falls to three and six like comment share subscribe if you have enjoyed we will see you later